you with Stassi today and we are going to be doing an updated back video. Stassi is now nine months old so it's been quite a while since the last bath video that we did when she was a puppy and her hair has grown a whole lot since then. So I figured that I would show you guys exactly what we're doing these days when I bathe her. I'm usually bathing her about once a week or every um, seven to ten days. She hasn't, it's been a little bit longer this time, I believe, because my husband was in the hospital. Um, so I think we're at about 12 days right now from her last bath. Um, but I have not done anything to her hair this morning. So this is how she woke up this morning. It is now afternoon, but I knew that I was bathing her today. So we didn't do the whole face wash and everything this morning. So she's been kind of uh, all natural this morning. Um, so I did want to say that I am wearing a waterproof apron. This is one that I got from Isle of Dogs many years ago from being one of their VIP club members when I used to buy all of their products. Um, but I don't know if they sell this anymore, but any waterproof apron will work. And I think that it is a great idea to have one of those if you're bathing your own dogs because they tend to shake and they will get you sopping wet. Now I am in my utility room and this is where I bathe all of the dogs. And you can see that I have all of my products out here. I keep them normally in a closet. But um, when it's bath day, I take everything out and everything is nice and convenient in this Rubbermaid caddy. So all of the supplies are in here. And then I am going to um, cut the film and then I'm gonna show you what I do to get started. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is get Stassi prepared for her bath. So the very first thing that I always do is I apply some eye safe ointment to, it's actually an oil, to her eyes. The label came off, but this brand is called Eye Safe, and it's just an oil to help protect her eye in case we would accidentally get any shampoo or conditioner in her eye. So you're just going to come, and she doesn't, she doesn't like um, things coming towards her face at all. So I try to come from behind, which helps a little bit, but she has gotten um, quite um, smart with this and she does not like this at all. So I am just gonna gently hold her mustache so that she can't really move. And I'm just gonna talk to her. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Good girl. All right, so see now we got her eye drops in her eyes. And if your dog is giving you trouble to put anything into their eyes, try that. Just kind of securely hold them without hurting them. Come from behind and just talk sweetly to them. That kind of gets their mind off of it. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is I have my scissors, my band removal scissors with the little um, hook on the end, and I'm just gonna clip her top knot band out. And, let's see. All right, so there we go. Woo, look at this long hair. <laughs> Her hair has gotten so long these days. All right, so now that that is out of her hair, the next thing that I'm going to do is prepare my shampoo. Now I use the Show Premium products and we will be using the Moisture Unleash shampoo and conditioner. And I got these in the big liter bottles because I go through them um, not real quickly, but you know, I know that I love them, so I got them a little bit cheaper by getting them in these large bottles. Now, the great thing about the Show Premium products is that they can be diluted, and that is exactly what we are going to do. So, what I use are these dispenser bottles. I think they are like um, ketchup dispensers or um, cake decorating um, dispensers. I got these on Amazon and I am just going to add some shampoo to the bottle. Now I am not very precise. This can be diluted up to eight to one, um, but what I'm going to do is just kind of estimate 
I don't know how many pumps this is, but not very much comes out in a pump. But if you can see the bottom of the bottle, it pretty much, I want to just kind of cover the bottom of this bottle. So it's about to right there. Um, just basically just covering the bottom. We're going to add a little bit more. Covering the bottom of the bottle. Then I'm going to take my um, sprayer that I have here on my sink and I'm going to add some warm water to the bottle. This sprayer that I'm using, I um, gave the link to this in the last bath video that I did. This is a wonderful sprayer. I got it from Lowe's.com and I will also leave the link in the description box below. But this just screws on to any sink and it, you know, if you don't have a sprayer on your sink and you need to add one, this is a great little um, gadget here. So I am going to add the warm water and I fill the bottle up about three quarters of the way. And then I just shake it up. Now it makes a lot of suds in there, but it's okay. All right, so that is our shampoo. And then the next thing that we're going to dilute is our conditioner. I bathed Harper yesterday, so we had a little bit of this left over in the bottle. And then same thing, with the, shant with the conditioner, except you're not gonna use quite as much conditioner, because a little goes a long way. So I would say probably about half of the bottom of this bottle is filled with conditioner, and then I'm just gonna add water. Again, I fill it up about three quarters of the way. And you know, this is a personal thing, you can just see what kind of dilution you like best. Um, these can be diluted down a whole lot. So I really like that about the Show Premium products. So I'm just going to shake that up and set that aside. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to turn this down a little bit so that it's not so loud. The next thing that I'm going to do is pay attention to her mustache and her, um, like under her eye area. And the shampoo that I like to use for that is the Show Premium Clarity. This is a um, antibacterial shampoo, so it works really good on tear staining. And I just take a little bit in my hand here. <laughs> And it kind of smells like tea tree. So it's very invigorating. And I just work it through. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I just work it through those little areas that are, you know, a little stained from the tearing. And I do that before I actually get her wet because I want that to sit on that area longer. So we did one side. And then I don't dilute this because I want this nice and strong for that area. And then we're gonna do the same to the other side. Being careful that you do not get it in the eye. Even though we have our eye safe oil in. You just want to be careful that you don't get any shampoo in the eyes. I kind of work that through like with my nail at first. And then I'm going to take a toothbrush and I'm going to wet the toothbrush. And I am going to brush 
that area so that it gets nice and deep and down to the skin. She also gets a little spot of yeast right here in the center of her, like by, uh, right above her stop. So I'm going to add a little bit of that Clarity Shampoo to this area as well. And then I'm gonna take my toothbrush and just give her a little massage in this area with the clarity. Now all of Show Premium products can be found on a website called pishpad.com and I will leave that link in the description box below. They are quite pricey but I will tell you that these are the best products I have ever used. I love them and they all can be diluted, so that saves a good bit of money. So don't let the price, initial price scare you, because just remember that a little does go a very long way. All right, so now that she has kind of her little clarity on her little mustache areas, and then on, right here in the center, we are going to get ready for the bath. Now, I don't really comb her out before I bathe her. I guess that, you know, you can do that. Um, but she gets combed and brushed a couple of times a day. So we really don't have any knots right now to get out before the bath. But if your dog has um, knotting going on, you would want to brush them out before you bathe them. That way you're starting out with, you know, without knots. All right, so let's get on to the bath. Okay, now that our little prep, prep work has been done, it is now time to get her wet. So I'm gonna check the temperature, and you want it not real warm and not real cold. And then I just start wetting her down. Stassi has a very, very thick coat. She has a, a lot of undercoat, so it takes her a little bit to, to get, you know, all wet because it has to go through like two layers of coat. And as you're going to see, she is all coat, so she's really not that big. I know she looks huge on camera, but she's just a little over 10 pounds. And she is full grown now. She's a, um, nine months old. She's a little older than nine months. Whoa, where are you going, sister? And she's has reached their adult weight at about seven to eight months old. And she really hasn't grown any in the last two months. Hope you guys can see this pretty well. Wow. <laughs> it's okay, mama girl. I am just getting her underbelly nice and wet. You want to saturate the coat and get it all wet. Whatever way your dog will allow you to do it. So. She lets me do it this way, so this is how we're going to roll with it. All right, and then when it's time to do her head, I put my hand over her eyes so that we don't get water in her eyes. And I'm holding her head pretty, pretty snugly so that the water doesn't go past where my hands are. And then I'm wetting around to the front and to the side. Oh, 
Okay, so now her whole body is all wet and she is looking, whoa, <laughs> she's looking like a little drowned rat. So now it's time to shampoo her down. Sit, baby girl. Sit, 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 sit. She is not um, great for her bath. She's not horrible, but she's not like particularly wonderful. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bottle of shampoo and just run it over her body. I kinda got a little, oh, kinda got a little cold. As you can see, she's protesting. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're gonna stand up for the whole bath. We're gonna stand up. Okay. All right. And she does talk to me while we are bathing. She, you know, she tells me her feelings on this bathing stuff and. It's usually um, not all good. Huh, Stassi? Huh? You don't like all this bathing, huh? Well, you gotta be beautiful, so you gotta do it. So that's our little conversation that we have every bath day. This is a little bit colder than normal. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Stassi, because mommy was talking, so it kind of got a little cool. And I think that's why she's fussing. So make sure your, your um, shampoo is nice and, and warm. I know, I know. And basically, you're just going to rub it through. I mean, there's no you know, perfect science to this. Oh, I know, it's cold, yeah. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Yes, it's okay. Oh, it's not that bad, my goodness, drama. She's drama, she is a drama queen. That is for sure. So you just want to make sure you get every inch of their little body. And I don't really, you know, do it a certain way. I just try and get that shampoo work through as much of her as I can. In between her bucking up like a horse. Huh. Yeah. And of course, whenever, you know, when I filmed her last bathing video, she acted up too. And then after that, you know, for her other um, baths, she's been fine. She was fine. So it's like a child. They know they're being filmed and they're going to act up. Stassi. We're getting her belly really good. Okay, now let's get your hiney in. Now you see why I wear the apron. Come on, it's okay. It's all right. What's the matter? My goodness. My goodness gracious. All right, and then we are going to get her little mustache really well. Oh. Just adding our little shampoo mixture wherever I feel like it needs some. Well, your front feet are nice and clean because you keep bucking up on me here. Let's get these back feet. All right, so we're gonna get her backside. 
And then her other paw. And this is good so that y'all can kind of see, you know, she's not perfect. Although I think she's pretty perfect. Sometimes she she acts up too, just like all dogs. All right, so we're making sure we get her head nice and shampooed. Like a little massage. Oh, she's gonna shake. Yeah, she's gonna shake. All right, okay, I think we're all sudded up. I think you're all suds up. All right, now let me check her water. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to rinse. Get her back up on her feet. And get these front paws. And her belly. And then again, we're going to hold her head so that no soap goes in her eyes. And just squeeze that water down her body. And we're going to go over to the side, just like we did when we were getting her wet. Same process to get the shampoo out of. Oh, brilliant. I see you. I see you. You being good now. Oh, you being a good girl. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is apply the conditioner. And I checked the water just to make sure that it wasn't too cold, and it wasn't. So we just are going to apply the conditioner all throughout her coat, the same way that we did the shampoo. and get her belly. Her chest, her legs, and her belly. And you just want to kind of work that in just for a couple of minutes. Giving them a nice massage. And then we rinse. I keep the water running the whole time so that it doesn't get cold. Show Premium Products makes quite a few different lines of different shampoos and conditioners. And I like the Moisture Unleashed 
But I use the silk treatment on Harper because she is more of a silkier coated breed. So depending on which breed you have, um, I suggest you call the guys over at pishpad.com if you're unsure of which product, you know, that you um, would be best for your breed. If you have a Shih Tzu, then the Moisture Unleashed, the Clarity, um, and the Royal Treatment are all good lines for a Shih Tzu's coat. But if you have a silkier breed, like a Yorkie, or a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, the Silk Treatment is a very nice um, shampoo and conditioner for those coats. You know, depending on the coat of the dog is going to depend on which shampoo um, line is going to be best for that particular coat. A Shih Tzu has a double coat, so it's a more of a coarser hair than say like a Cavalier or a Yorkie. So our needs are going to be a little bit different than the needs of a Yorkie or a Cavalier. So I'm just making sure that we get all of the conditioner out of Sassy's coat. just by running the water through her coat. Until I can feel no more conditioner in there. And then standing up like this is a good way to get underneath the belly. I think we almost got it all. Okay. As you can see, she calmed down a little bit. I think she was in shock at the beginning with the the shampoo had gotten a little cold, so she was she was protesting about that. Cause she's usually not that bad. I mean, she doesn't love her bath, but she's usually not quite so uh, antsy. So that was my fault. I'm so sorry, my girl. Just keeping it real, my baby girl. Okay, so I think we have all of the shampoo and conditioner out of our coat. So then the next thing that I do is just kind of run my hands over her, just squeezing out the excess water. And you're gonna kinda wanna go from the top to the bottom. Just squeezing out as much of that excess water as you can get. And then I have a nice fluffy towel. It's a big beach towel. And I am going to pick her up and get her warm. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of towel dry her in this towel for a few minutes. 